hey y'all welcome back to my channel and as you can see y'all i'm over here looking like a freaking egghead but it's okay we are doing a full get ready with me i'm going to be doing my hair my makeup and showing you guys my outfit i'm actually going to be getting ready for a date night so that is what we are getting ready for so we're just about to go ahead and jump right into it it's been balling out every season no it's because i left in the bleach i just been married to double cup i gotta pull me a four inside another leaf so y'all can already see i got my wig cap on already my hair is already braided down because i'm actually wearing um a wig right now so the wig i'm wearing is actually this wig from kennedy rose hair this is 24 inches she is a body wave and i absolutely love her so so much the quality of the hair is so soft i have minimum to no shedding and she's actually in a middle part and as you can see in the inside we have our clips and our elastic band in our wig so those are also a must when you have a wig honey so yeah this is what we're going to be applying and styling today i actually have a code with kennedy rose hair i will have it linked in the description box as well as all products i'll be using today will be linked there so definitely make sure you're checking the description box so we're gonna go ahead and get her on our head yes ma'am so with this wig you do not have to glue her on so that is why i really enjoy this unit so much because it's so easy to apply on and don't worry i know it looks crazy right now let me get her on so she is pretty much on and i'm gonna fix her up on camera but this is what she looks like before we add any product to her before we add any curls as you can see you do not have to glue her down you can literally put her on and go out the door so i really enjoy that especially when i have a lot of errands i have to run every day and i need to get up and go homegirl do not have time to be throwing on a unit and trying to glue her down make sure she's sticking tie her up no we do not have time for that so yeah i just love that it is such an easy process with wearing a wig and she is so pretty i love her so much so we're gonna style her on camera so i think i'm gonna do some like loose curls in her so i have my wand heating up here and we're going to go ahead and you know put some curls in her and i just like to wrap it around y'all already know wrap her around and then hold her for a couple of minutes this is like the curls i want to get just like a loose wavy curl and we're just going to repeat that on all of our heads so i just take about this much again And I kind of just do this messy because, you know, ain't nobody like, we just trying to get some curls in our hair. We ain't got time to be trying to be all precise or whatever. So, and then I just hold it right here and then I just let them go. And I don't like to like pull them out yet. I like to let the curl rest a little bit. And then if y'all see me look in the viewfinder, I'm like kind of doing my hair in the viewfinder. But I don't pull out the curls yet because I like to let them set and then pull them out. Okay, so I went ahead and curled the rest of my hair off camera and we are ready to pull the curls out. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through it so you guys can see. I'm actually gonna take my little hot comb honey 
I remember using a hot comb when I was a little girl. And this just brings back so many memories. Every time I use it, I just think about my mama putting a hot comb to my head. So I'm just gonna run this down first before we do the hairspray. And you wanna be careful when you are using a hot comb because this can actually burn the lace. So you want to be very gentle at where you're applying it so your lace does not burn a hole in it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Way Medium Hairspray and I'm just gonna spray this on the top of my head to lay any flyaways down. And so far I'm really liking this. It doesn't feel sticky or anything when I apply it to my hair. So I hate when hairspray is sticky. Oh my God, that is one of my pet peeves. I really hate that so much. So, so far so good. It doesn't feel sticky so. And it has like a rose kind of florally scent, which I'm not mad about. It smells really good so. If you like products that make your hair smell really good, then this is definitely a good product so far. The other product I'm going to be using is the Way Hair and Body Shine Mist. And this is just to add shine to my hair. Um, I don't like having dull hair, but I also don't like for my hair to be weighed down with a lot of like grease or shine and stuff like that. I don't like for it to look way down. I still like it to look airy and bouncy, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna uh, spray this on to give her some shine. Okay, so that's pretty much the hair portion of the video. Oh, I love how the hair is looking. I love that it's like a loose curl, not too, you know, curly, but not like really straight. So I'm loving this so much. Oh my God. So this is the hair. Do y'all prefer your hair straight or curly? Leave me a comment and let me know. I think I, I used to love my hair straight all the time, but I don't know, I'm kind of like feeling wearing it curly all the time lately. So let me know if that's something like y'all are into as well, especially for the summertime. I feel like curly hair looks so good in the spring and summer season. So I probably should have brought my headband, but I'm not getting up from this chair. Honey, I got a blanket around my legs and everything. So we're just gonna do without. So we're gonna start with brows first because you know, I always start with my brows and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop pencil and the Anastasia dip brow gel. I've been really recently loving this combo so much. So I go ahead and fill in the front of my brows. y'all can kind of see on camera what I mean by it just instantly gives you like a brow like it's almost like gimme brow from benefit but I like this one so much better okay so this is one brow and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera so I'm gonna do that, be right back, and our eyes gonna be primed and ready to go so we can get into applying our eyeshadow. Okay, so our brows are done. I went ahead and primed my eyes off camera with concealer. I just used my Chew Way concealer to prime my eyes. So let's go ahead and get right into the eyeshadow. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I'm thinking like a brown smoky eye, just something really simple, maybe all matte. We'll see. I'm gonna go in with my JH36 brush and I'm gonna be taking the shade Mugshot, the shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's the like red tone one and just blending that in my crease. So we're gonna go ahead and get the shade Secret right here and we're just gonna 
pack that on on the outer crease. So y'all, what is up with the beauty community right now? Literally, this drama has just gone out of hand. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. I don't have to say any names. We all know what is going on with this community. I just have no words. I honestly just feel like it's just doing the most, honey. That's all people are doing is just getting feelings hurt, getting exposed, this one exposing this one, this one exposing this, honey. Everybody exposing everybody out here. So watch your bags, watch who you're friends with, and learn to treat people how people should be treated. And if everybody do that, then ain't nobody gotta worry about nothing. So now I'm gonna take the shade Rush right here. And I'm just gonna pack that on my lid right here. Just creating that, you know, cut crease effect, but without the concealer. Okay, so that's pretty much the eyes done. I'm gonna add some eyeliner a little bit. And if you're wondering what uh, liner I use, I use the Balm Swing Liner. By far my favorite eyeliner ever. It is so black and matte. Definitely recommend this product. Love this too much. So for lashes, I think these are the Eyelore Princess Platinum or Platinum Princess. I'm not really sure. I'll link them in the description box, but that is what I'm going to be applying on and the glue I like to use is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with the aloe. And yeah, I really love this one a lot. So while our lashes are drying a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and start the base. So you already know I've been loving the Melt Grip Primer. This junk is so bomb. I really didn't think I was going to enjoy it this much but it is literally like a staple in my makeup and i can definitely tell when i don't use it how big of a difference my makeup lasts and how it looks so i really do think this primer is really good if you have not tried it already i definitely recommend it and our lashes are still not ready so we're gonna go ahead and get right into our foundation which is the morphe foundation we have raved and talked about this foundation so much but i'm still stuck on it and loving it so we're gonna apply it Like every time I apply this, it is just so bomb. Like, I'm obsessed. It doesn't take me a lot to literally get a new foundation because this one is my favorite. And when I apply my foundation, I don't really like to apply it right in here. I feel like it's not necessary when you're going to apply concealer and you have a full coverage concealer that you really don't have to apply foundation all the way up under your eyes. So if you are a person that has a lot of creasing or your eyes crease a lot, I definitely recommend that tip to not bring your foundation all the way up and just make sure you apply your concealer in that area. For concealer, I'm using the Jouer High Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Rich Ginger. Another product I have been loving. I cannot stop using it. Then taking my beauty sponge and blending that up. Okay, so I have a new product I'm going to try out on camera today. It is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. I have heard that this powder is so good for people who have dry skin. So I really want to try it out. Okay. 
Okay, so as for the hourglass powder, I'm really liking it so far. Um, it doesn't make my under eyes look extremely dry. Um, so I'm, I like that because I have dry skin and stuff. But I will have to test this out and make sure it doesn't give me any flashback or anything. And um, see how it wears throughout the day. So I'll definitely let you guys know and update you if I like this product. So moving on, I'm going to be using this powder foundation from covergirl is the full spectrum and i just like to apply this on the perimeter part of my face then for bronzer i've been using the coco naughty from fenty beauty which i have loved because you can build it up And it just gives your face that just sun kiss like you've been laying out in the sun all day. I love that. It just gives me the perfect warmth. Oh my God, y'all. I'm like, yes, look at that. Okay, so then for blush, I've actually been loving the Buxom Wonderless Blushes. They are so pigmented and they smell, oh my God, like freaking pina colada y'all i just love this and this color it's not really showing up on camera but it's like a peachy color and this is in mykonos and i love this so i'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks like oh yes honey i just love blush and sometimes okay i kind of want ham on the side but we're gonna blend that out if I got to contour my nose, I'm gonna do it really quickly. So then for highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia So Hollywood in the loose form and applying this. I cannot stay away from this highlighter. It is just so bomb, you guys. Like that is, oh my god, every time I wear this, I'm just like blown away by how beautiful it looks. Okay, so I have applied my bottom mascara and everything and finished up my eyes. So we're going to get right into the lips. So of course, I'm going to be starting with MAC Chestnut to line my lip. And as bad as I want to do a nude lip, I think I'm going to go with red today. So I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. And this is in Uncensored, which is a bold red. Okay, so that is the red lip apply. She is bold, bold, you guys. Like, I love it so much. Like, I think it is perfect for spring and summertime, especially for a date night. You want to look sexy, you want to look sultry. So we're gonna finish off this look with the Dewy Set Mist by Anastasia Beverly Hill. Okay, so this is the finished hair and makeup. I am loving it so much. Like, we look so good. We are ready for date night, honey. Like, I mean, this red lip. Oh, yes. Like, she is thriving. We got our loose curls going on. We got our simple but sexy date night makeup going on. And now, we're only missing the outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the outfit and stuff. I'm gonna be scurrying on to date night with my boo thing. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. So I just wanted to get on here and show you guys my outfit for tonight. So my bag is actually from Forever 21. It is like this white quilted bag with the gold accents on it and I love it so, so much. It holds 
just the perfect amount of stuff if you're going out for the night and then my rumper is also from forever 21 it actually has the little pockets that you can stick your hand in which i think is so so cute as well as you can tie this belt up to snatch in your waist i mean come on who doesn't want to snatch in your waist and then you have the little zipper detail where you can actually zip it up all the way to the top or zip it down as low as you would like so i love that and i just think this is the perfect little outfit to wear on a summer and spring night it is so so cute so easy to chunk on and just go but you are still looking so cute and then for shoes i'm just wearing my clear heels from windsor but this is the final look. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye loves.